Okay, so here we have the Quark Elec QK-G022 GSM remote controller. Then we have a little 7 amp hour 12 volt battery like you would have in a motorbike. It's a sealed battery uh, which is providing the 12 volt power here. Then strapped onto the side of it, I'll turn it over so you can see it. Strapped onto the side we've got the solar charge regulator and then <clears throat> that's the solar panel going in, 10 watt solar panel going into the little charge controller into the battery and that's powering our controller and then the two float switches that I've got here are um, have three cables on each one so one contact is normally open and one contact is normally closed they're going into here on the remote controller int 1 or in, and ground or ground and int 2 so that's first relay and second relay and then that will send a text message through when um, either that contact or this contact is closed because we have two tanks on the hill and the whole unit will sit inside this little battery box okay so that's where we get our water from and then it goes down the hill and it's pumped by a hydram pump up to these storage tanks here. Now we have three tanks. The first tank is a settling tank and then the middle one is just one of the storage tanks and that's our final storage tank. It's actually um, the same height as the others but we've put an old lid on the top which gives us a secure place to put the workings here in. So everything is connected up. We've got the uh, the solar panel just is connected to the front there. The sun is very low in this part of the world. I'm just behind the hill over there now. Um, so I think vertical will be fine. We can see here that it's charging. Yep, it's still charging something. Not sure how much because it doesn't have an amp meter on it, but it is charging. And <coughs> I've put some bubble wrap in here to keep the battery warm because it gets pretty cold up here so obviously that will re uh, reduce the battery's efficiency so I'm also going to put bubble wrap over the top of this and then I'll put the lid on it and put it inside this and that'll keep it uh, safe and secure and hopefully stop uh, yeah, bugs and uh, keeps it safe from the cows and the sheep around here and so on. Okay, so just going to demonstrate the system working. So I'm just going to pull the sensor up as if it's um, out of the water, or as if the tank is empty. I'll set that on the side, side there. Then go over to my. There we go. GSM water sensor port one has been triggered by externally. That's how it labels it at the moment. Okay, so then I'm going to test the second tank, which is the settling tank, and I'm going to hold this up as if the tank is empty, and then we should see... There you go. Yep, port 2 has been triggered by externally. And according to the weather forecast, there's a heavy rain shower on its way. Well, that's good. Just time to finish. So there you go. System's working well. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be really helpful to us. Until now, we've only known about the tanks being empty when we run out of water in the house. And then it takes a few hours for them to fill back up. And we then have airlocks in the system, which take a lot of bleeding out. So this system will really uh, make a big, big difference to us. Okay, so this is the app that comes with, uh, well, that you can download from their site, um, on an Android anyway. Uh, now, it's not very intuitive, but the device 1 that it lists here, that's where you need to have the number for the SIM card that's in um, your controller. Then when you press login, it takes you to this page. So SIM number shows you a number, um, the number that's at the top that I'm just hiding from you, that's the number for the, my device. 
and then beneath it you have register myself as main sim card that's to register your own mobile phone um, and then register first additional sim card second third that means the numbers that you want the device to send a text to um, or if it's a landline then it does the text to landline um, seems to work in the UK at least okay then you've got uh, check now that gives you the relay working mode you can check the status and check the working mode um, rename I was hopeful here that I would be able to rename the uh, change the name on the text messages that come through so it said uh, so it would say tank one tank two etc but in actual fact um, you can't it's just within the device here at the moment maybe that's something they're working on um, then you have an alarm log showing um, any history if there is history set clock you can request the time from the device and you can set the clock so that it's this whatever you want control this allows you to uh, start the different relays so this is where the naming comes in and um, so you could start a pump with it or whatever we're not using this at the moment but that's the options track and tra trace that's if you have the GPS um, option um, then you can see the location of the device I don't have that one and other um, is if you're wanting to use one of the inputs for an alarm um, we're not using that either the way we have ours set up so this it, it works this this app works and how it works is just by sending a text message uh, to the device um, and then receiving a text message that's that's how it works um, it's it's not ideal there's a few things that would be nice one of them especially is it'd be great if it showed you the voltage um, of that the unit is receiving I don't know how hard that would be to add maybe it's something they can add um, and it would also be nice if you were able to um, to rename the text messages um, so that the text you know so you could configure the text to actually say something um, a bit more logical than just port one um, activated externally it doesn't really tell you tell you too much um, anyway those are my little gremlins but overall um, that's how the system works